Welcome folks. Uh, today I was going to be talking a little bit about figure skates. Uh, what you see before you is a women's figure skate. They're generally white in color. Uh, you've seen the black ones probably if you've watched figure skating on TV or where have you. Um, what you see before you here in this sample on this video is a middle ground uh, women's figure skate. Um, it's an all leather boot. Uh, it's a good quality one. Uh, I imagine the boot's probably worth over $200. And then uh, the blades on these things, you generally buy them separately. They're, you're getting into the, um, the low, lower end of the, the professional kind of skating. The ones where uh, the ones are actually starting to do all the spins and uh, some of the jumps and things. And what you'll find on the better quality skates is it's all leather, like I say. And if you look closely at the heel here, it's actually built up of several several layers of uh, leather. They're all linked together. And uh, before I move uh, too much further along, watch yourself when you're buying cheaper skates like plastic ones and things like that. They don't uh, offer a whole lot of proper support for your foot. Uh, myself, I'd recommend going with a full-on leather uh, boot. Um, like I say, this is about a middle ground one for somebody that's starting to do jumps and um, fancier and more uh, serious uh, level of figure skating. Uh, you go into your um, Walmart type places and places like that, you can get all kinds of cheaper uh, skates. Everything depends on uh, how much you wanna, how much money you want to invest in your skates. Uh, like I say, uh, I'll be concentrating a little bit more on um, the more uh, serious skater, if you will. Uh, like I say, watch those plastic skates. I'd tend to stay away from them for the kids and stuff. Uh, try to stick with an all-leather skate if you can. There might be some synthetics out there right now that are uh, probably pretty good, but uh, if you look what the professionals are wearing and someone who's actually serious about figure skating, you'll probably see all-leather. Um, you'll notice too in the bottom here, the blades, you actually buy them separate from the boot. And these blades, I'm sure they're well in excess of $100, maybe even $200 or so dollars for the pair of blades. And they're mounted on the, uh, the base of the boot with screws right in here. Four on the heel. And what do we got? Two, four, six, eight on the, uh, the toe end of it. Um, it's an all leather sole. And uh, a little further down the video, hopefully I'll remember and I'll show you what to watch out for um, some... some uh, serious signals if your blades are loosening up. You don't want that, especially if you're performing at high speed and doing jumps and spins and things. You don't want to start uh, injury because uh, things start to loosen off on you. Uh, about fitting these things, I'm not the best person for figure skate fitting, but I can tell you a few things about that. Um, what I was saying in the other hockey video I have in this series is to uh, leave the laces loose slide your foot into this thing as far forward as you can. Uh, this would apply more for uh, just a, a casual skater. Um, I'll just continue with this and then I'll tell you a little bit more about how um, orthotics and uh, things apply to, uh, especially when you kind of do figure skates and things because of the jumping and whatnot. So like uh, with a hockey skate, if I was just uh, fitting somebody for uh, uh, recreational skating and not too serious, just starting out, Slide the foot forward with the laces loose and uh, basically all you really want to get in the heel between the heel of your um, your foot and inside the skate is about a finger's width in here. You don't want to have a lot of extra play in there. See when you do the laces up that pushes your foot back and it will give you just enough toe clearance and that's why I say that that fingers uh, width of clearance in here will be adequate to allow some movement for your toes. You don't want your toes all scrunched up in there. It's very uncomfortable. And it also uh, places your foot flat inside the skate so you get the, the proper use of your foot. Um, See, so this is an all leather design where you really have to be careful with these things. Also with the figure skates before I move on is, is most of them they will have these little cleat things up here. They're a U-shaped affair where you hook the upper laces in there. Um, another thing I, I should mention uh, is, is never really wrap your excess laces around the boot. Always, always have this part clear. Never, even in a hockey skate, don't don't wrap your laces around there. If the uh, laces are too long, either get shorter laces, or you could even cut them off and just have enough there to tie your uh, skates up with the bow. You don't want uh, any excess laces hanging down where you might trip on them on the blade, lose an edge, and hurt yourself. Make sure that the laces are 
they're not going to be dangling all over the place once they're done up tight. Um, also with the, the hockey skates I recommended, make sure you see um, quite a bit of lace here. You don't want these two edges above the tongue coming in too close. They won't fit properly. They won't snug up to your foot properly. You need probably an inch or so, um, depending on the skate designer. But what you see here is, is probably about right with somebody's foot in there and it's tied up. I've just tucked the laces inside so they wouldn't be getting all over in the video. Also, um, these are a pretty good quality. They're, they're quite thick um, leather. They're just quite soft inside. The tongue you want a reasonable amount of thickness there, otherwise what happens when you tighten them up is the laces will start to bite into your foot and your ankle area. And also don't be wearing overly thick socks in there. You don't want to be swimming in there. A lot of, a lot of them tend to go with a thinner sock when they wear a skate for proper fit. If you're looking for uh, firm support, you don't want anything that's going to be all wobbly and things. These ones are quite stiff. They uh, afford uh, a really good amount of support for the foot, especially when you're getting into jumps and, and things where you're uh, putting excess pressure on your, your joints and everything. You want to make sure that uh, your foot and ankle are adequately um, supported. Um, I can actually feel in here, these ones have been modified. Uh, the girl wearing these, um, I guess the ankle bones uh, getting into the orthotics again, like they can custom fit these things. You get the basic boot that fits your style of foot. Uh, different makers, uh, they, they can be a little bit narrower. Different, different makers, uh, totally different styles of boots between the different manufacturers is what I should say. And um, these ones have actually been bumped out where the ankle bone is right here. I can actually feel in there, there's a, an indent inside there. And what happens, you get pressure points um, skating, especially at a more serious level. And you got a, a firm boot. Everybody's foot is different. You want to try to get a nice custom fit to your foot, especially when you're getting serious about figure skating. Like I say, these ones have probably been bumped out in a press where there was uh, pressure points where the actual inside of the skate was rubbing up against the ankle bone and causing discomfort for the skater. So these ones, they were probably put in a press or something and then they were um, punched out, if you will. They actually bulge out a little bit on the outside and it creates clearance on the inside for the ankle bone. There's no end to uh, what a professional skate shop can do uh, for custom fitting skates. Um, <coughs> excuse me. Throat's a bit raw today. <coughs> excuse me once again. And um, you basically want to um, spend the amount of money that you will if you're serious about this kind of a sport. All leather is the way to go. Um, you got to watch with the blades. Um, these are actually waterproof, these uh, leather soles, and after a, amount of, a certain amount of skating, there's a buildup of frost and snow on here. And what happens is uh, water migrates into the holes where the screws go, and it softens up the leather. The screws you'll find start to get kind of loose. So before you go skating with this style of skate, I would recommend getting a screwdriver and just tightening up each screw but don't overdo it because you'll strip the screw in the leather you'll create a hole and then there's some major repairs to do with that so always make sure the screws are tight with the style you might have a cheaper skate where it only has a riveted sole where the skate uh, meets the sole and you won't have to worry about that but if you've got a screw in make sure that the uh, the screws are all snug before you go skating um, what else can I mention blade straightness when you buy them Sometimes uh, they're bent. I've had them where I've um, had the blade right out of the box. They're separate from the boot when you buy them. So take a straight edge with Even if it's a wooden ruler, it's better than none at all. But I have a steel scale. Put it up both sides. Make sure that there's no, no curve in the blade. You don't want the, the thing in an arc. They can straighten them if you ever do notice a bent one in the more professional skate shops. Um, like I say, there's things to really watch when you're getting into leather, and that's uh, always keep them waterproofed. Um, they do get damp the more you, you start skating and uh, the buildup of snow and whatnot. You're always going to get that when you go ice skating, no matter what kind of a skate you're wearing. Um, like I say, the safety part of it, watch that uh, those screws are always tight. Another thing I should mention while I think about it, sometimes when... Uh, even a professional skate uh, 
shop they um, they sell you the boots separate from the blades and then you choose the boots and the blades that you're that you want to purchase and then they'll uh, install the blades for you but sometimes uh, they'll only put a couple of screws in the front and a couple of screws in the back and that's so that they can realign them in case uh, you have what they call supination or pronation of the foot it's uh, the way your foot the way you skate uh, whether you're pigeon toed or you're you're skating um, you know sort of outwards like this so they can actually do some considerable adjustments by mounting the blade in either direction to compensate for the, which way your feet point while you're skating. Um, like I say, make sure that once uh, once you've uh, found out where the blade's going to be permanently mounted, get those extra screws all filling those holes in the blade um, the blade plate there. You don't want to be starting to do jumpings, jumping and everything with a skate where you've only got two screws here and maybe two screws back here. Make sure all your screws are in and they're all snugged up and tight before you attempt any jumping or anything serious at all. These are just some of my experiences along the way. Um, that's pretty much it. But I'll go with the figure skates for today. Uh, in the future videos in this set, uh, I'll get into a little bit closer look at the blades, um, the sharpening of them, my experience and feedback from other skaters as to um, the custom grinds that I've done on skate blades over the years. So with that all said for today, I hope you can use some of that information. And like I say, don't, don't take the information I have as gospel. It's just some uh, basic stuff that I've learned along the way. Uh, don't be afraid to go into a professional skate shop and pick their brain. Ask as many questions as you like and learn. It doesn't cost you anything. And if these skate shops are uh, worth anything at all, they'll spend the time with you. They will uh, tell you a few things about it and you'll learn as you go. So that's about it for this installment uh, in this uh, ice skate series. So have yourself a nice day. Take care and uh, bye for now.